The Civil War encampment at the Collins Museum in Milford, Pennsylvania was a historic reenactment of what life was like during the Civil War for a soldier and their loved ones. This kicks off the museum's summer season and was truly educational. Here's what a few living reenactors have to say. It's nice finding out about people from another time and how they made themselves comfortable and what was important to them. Uh, let alone how they cook and what they ate and all that kind of good stuff. You know, the thing about if you want to understand somebody, walk a mile in his moccasins, that's literally what we're doing. And you learn a lot more about what they went through, what they experienced, just what it was like. Character reenactors portray what life was like for both civilian women and children alike, with clothing and artifacts and food of the era. In order for visitors to experience an authentic reenactment of the time, they pay much attention to detail. Displays with explanations of the many different and often complicated fashions worn by women were made available for guests to enjoy. We see in detail the layers of formal wear, everyday wear, as well as their work attire and get an education on the etiquette and bereavement process of a widow. The everyday life of women and children, as well as children's toys and games, were not only on display, but on hand for a genuine experience and a true taste of what life was like back in 1861. In addition to having toys and games on display, reenactors gave examples of what transportation was like during the time. we were also presented with a typical timeline of the daily schedule of a soldier. Uh, Reverly would have been about five o'clock. I would have been up. I would have had roll call just to make sure that no, nobody had left the camp without, without permission. Uh, after roll call, I would have had breakfast call, would have had my fine meal of salt pork and hardtack and my good cup of coffee. After that would have been uh, medical call, sick call, is it belly ache, tummy ache, injured or hurt, I would have went to see the, the doctor and after that would have been fatigue duty. Fatigue duty could have been anything as, as uh, helping move trees, fences, getting water, uh, marching, drilling and so forth there. Then maybe it would have been lunchtime. Usually maybe about an hour for lunch, I would have taken a nap, I would have had my coffee. Moved on in the afternoon, same thing, more fatigue duty or more likely marching. Way to march. Go to march. A lineup for weapons inspection was routine for these soldiers as demonstrated here by this regiment. That's pretty much the day in the life of a soldier. Examples of recruitment posts, tent life, and food rations, as well as base camp headquarters, were presented with authentic tools of the time.
we also get a glimpse of the importance of the infantry drummer. Drummers were the most important uh, part of an army because was because they kept the rank moving in step. Each beat of the drum, like. bang of the drum, the men would march forward from their left foot matching with the... It would match the beat of the drum, and the officers would say, on the drum, forward, march. And along with the fifer, you could have an entire rank moving in formation, perfectly, by the beat of the drummer's drum. And if the drummer was killed, it was kind of like losing the heart of the unit. visit from famed General Grant is a welcome addition to this weekend's reenactment. And we also get to hear the story of Colonel James Bouget Walton. Colonel James Bouget Walton. James Bouget Walton. Yes. All right. uh, he's French uh, background, from New Orleans, owned pretty much about a third of the city. Uh, by today's standards, he was a billionaire. He joined the U.S. military in 1839, started up the artillery group for the southern states for protection along the Mississippi. And so the Civil War broke out. He had 22 years of U.S. military service. A lot of my gear I carry would be left over from that period, because uh, that was natural. You had to buy your own uniform when you are an officer. The Civil War encampment at the Collins Museum created a dialogue for education about a moment in our history that shaped and changed our nation. Here we're shown just a small portion of what both Confederate and Union soldiers endured during this trying time in history. And whether with artifacts or living demonstrations, we learn about the life and hardships of the Civil War. To learn more, visit pikehistorical.org.